Okay, lately I've seen so many scam videos from George the Title, Inflation US, John Lebed, that I've decided to put this video together and expose them once and for all. Inflation.us is a website that looks suspiciously like a government organization, but it's not. George the Title and his associates pushed their viewers to sign up for a free newsletter at Inflation.us. Inflation.us will then promote stocks to its subscribers by companies who pay them. This sounds dangerously close to a pump and dump operation whose information is certainly not unbiased. Let's take a closer look at the founder of this company as he gets uncomfortable when asked real questions. Dudes figuring out ways to take your money and put it in their pocket and not always in the right way. But one dude stood out from all the rest. His name. Jonathan Lebed. How you doing, hey, Jonathan? You doing? Did I say it right? Yeah, nice to meet you. All of 15 back in 2000, he became the first miner ever, and I think he's probably still the only miner ever, to settle with the SEC over a financial crime that led to a 60 Minutes interview, Time Magazine covers, and a whole lot of hype. And obviously the hype is continuing, as evidenced on your TV set right now. Jonathan's still recommending stocks on the internet on top of it all. Nowadays he does it at Lebed.biz. I don't even know about this man. Lebed.biz. I got to back up. I went to Lebed.biz today. I'm going to just fast forward past 2000. We'll come back to that in a minute. I'm looking at the stock that you had recommending to people today. What's the stock symbol? ETEV? No, yeah, SUFH, SUFH, an Albuquerque based company. Not really based in Albuquerque, though. I started calling the company. I called their PR department. They're not even in the place they say. I said, How many people do you guys have working for you? Less than well, 10. I said, Well, less than five. I don't think so, but he didn't even know. Is this a real company? What are you doing touting? And not only that, at the bottom of it, you say you've been paid $40,000 by someone who wanted you to write about this stock this time. What, am uh, I, what are you doing here? What, what, what are you doing here, man? No, nah, I, wasn't, I wasn't compensated for that pick at all. There was absolutely no... But he had interest. compensated you in the past, which mm -hmm. means you've been paid to tout stocks from him, and you're probably doing this so that you'll be paid in the future to tout stocks from him. Let's call it what it is. Let's keep it real with our viewers. That's How about why, that, man? That's why I fully disclose everything on the website there. That's why you had, had a disclaimer there that you read about it. So Why even do it? Why do something wrong and then disclaim I'm doing something wrong? Because that really is. You don't believe in this company. You don't know anything about this company, and yet you're recommending it to... Thousands of people. You got people watching on TV today. Millions of homes right now, and you're saying, "Yeah, the stock might be okay." You don't know. Well, it gained 85 percent after we put it out, and we had so uh, many and, winners and, this anybody, year. and all those people who solar, bought it, all those people who listened to you and bought it after it was I up picked, 85 percent, lost their money. I picked First Solar at 62. I'm extremely grateful for this interviewer asking him the hard questions. Notice how, when he is exposed as a fraud for promoting a bogus company, he quickly changed topic to another stock, First Solar. Now let's take a look at another video he made where he gives a false impression of himself and his organization. This man truly must be exposed for his fraudulent operation. I was about 14 years old, CNBC launched their first ever student stock tournament. After that, I just knew that stocks were my thing and that's what I would dedicate my life to. I've been working extremely hard my entire life since a young age. I, I wouldn't even pay attention in school. I would just spend my days researching stocks on the internet. Years ago, I received a lot of media attention. I was on the cover of New York Times Magazine and Time Magazine and on 60 Minutes and there was a book that was written about me, Next to the Future, just happened by Michael Lewis. He has the audacity to boldface lie to his audience by convincing them that he was featured in the media for his stock picking success. Anyone who bothers to take 10 seconds and do a basic Google search can see that he was in trouble with the SEC for pumping and dumping stocks. To somehow pretend that his prior media attention was somehow due to hard, honest work is laughable. The only thing more ridiculous is using his criminal activities to promote his business. I will now demonstrate how this organization is attempting to penetrate the YouTube community and corner the market by doing a simple YouTube search. You will notice two promoted videos. One is a dollar bubble, inflation US, 611,000 views. Brilliant stock picker, lebed.biz, 25,000 views. Both of these are run by the same individual. Now watch this video that Backburner News recently posted, making excuses for why he joined forces with John Lebed. Uh, John, uh, you know, John Lebed, who I know and worked with on Hyperinflation Nation, Debt Slave, and, um, and the Dollar Bubble. 
you know, he contacted me, and he was like, well, do you want to, uh, you know, kind of work for me as, like, a part-time thing, you know, and I can kind of fund your channel for you or whatever, and uh, I said, all right, yeah, you know, tell me more about it, and he was like, and, you know, from what he told me, he said um, he hasn't been paying much attention to his, you know, his business, which is real business, is the lebed.biz business, where he, you know, profiles stocks and companies, and, you know, I don't know exactly how he does you know, whenever he talks about it, he's always very professional about it and very like, this is my, you know, this is my business, this and that, you know, I mean, I don't go into too much of, too much of details, I really don't know that much about it. I'm sorry, but ignorance is no excuse here. You should know better than supporting a stock pumper. Um, but, uh, I said, yeah, you know, uh, and he was saying, you know, make some, you can make some, uh, videos for me and stuff, talking about that, or like, kind of having, um, you know, advertise, kind of like an advertising campaign for that, and, you know, maybe we didn't talk about it, but I don't know if he's going to want to have me do something like, you know, put, um, an intro at the beginning of my videos, you know, saying sponsored by Levit.biz or something like that, you know, just to get that company name out there more or whatever, and, you know, I said, uh, yeah, you know, I, I'd be interested in this, the, the one stipulation I have is I just want to be straight up with my subscribers and, you know, tell them, everything about this and how this came about, you know, and how this is here, you know. Now you seem like a nice person, and I'm sure you haven't really thought fully about this whole operation that you're involved in, but think for a second, think about what they do. They get paid to pump stocks, and you're just a minion in this. Now I've liked your videos for a long time, you've had a lot of very good creative content, but he's piggybacking off your success and turning your creativity into something very, very ugly. The evidence is clear. John Lebed and his websites are selling out the YouTube community to promote stocks. There are examples of outright dishonesty, such as George for Title using fear to gather subscribers and promote inflation.us. Hey, this is George for Title. I don't know if you can even hear me down here. Well, we're right at the gates of uh, basically uh, Mexico. Hey guys, I'm not feeling very good right now. I mean, I'm grossing out the people I'm here with. But man, I feel like projectile vomiting right now, and I just not, I'm not up to this right now. So I'm gonna go home, see if I can get better, and maybe approach this the next day. On the other hand, there appears to be decent people who have not spent the time analyzing this operation and its founder. The community should outright reject Inflation US scam operation and its founder. My advice to Lebed's minions is to stop using fear to drive people to his websites, as this will only reflect badly on you in future. The economy is bad enough as it is, without adding scams on top of it.